Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, B-Day. Welcome back, Panthers. This month, we honor sophomore student Ava Siebert for resilience, amazing grace, and positive spirit as she attends school from home while being treated for cancer. Please drop a card or a note for her in the big box in the main office. If you would like to join Best Buddies, please sign up using the QR code on the posters hanging throughout the school. If you have any questions, contact jhonorado at qcsd.org. Now the weather with Justin. Thanks, guys. As you can see, it's quite a beautiful day out with it reaching a high of 66 degrees later in the afternoon and dropping down to the low 40s tonight. The Category 4 Hurricane Ian is expected to make landfall in Florida today with it going through Orlando and St. Petersburg. Now back to the news desk. Key Club, we are looking for new or returning members to volunteer at the upcoming events in the Queertown community. If you are interested, please complete the form sent to your email. For students in the Education and Undeclared Pathways, there will be four guest speakers as part of the next QCHS Career Pathway Speaker Series. You can sign up using the QR code sent to your email. Seniors and juniors, we have started scheduling college visits. Check your Naviance to account, account to sign up and see what else we have scheduled. Now to sports with Harry. Girls soccer has an away game at 3.30 against Cheltenham, and the girls tennis has an away match at Lansdale Catholic, also at 3.30. There is a girls' volleyball home game tonight at, at 6.30 against Central Bucks East. There's a home boys' soccer game at 7 o'clock against Cheltenham. The cross-country team has a home meet today at 3.30 against Wissahickon. And good luck to all of our athletes. Now back to the news desk. Do you have old prescription glasses or sunglasses that you no longer use? Drop them in the green donation box in the main office. About 120 million people worldwide live each day without the glasses they need. This affects their quality of life. Donate your old glasses and give the gift of sight to someone in need. FBLA will be holding its first membership meeting Thursday after school in B124. Come and learn about what FBLA is and meet the current members. If you have any questions, you can contact Mrs. Frisch. Attention sophomores, if you are interested in running for class council, please pick up an application outside of Mrs. Sharp's room B122. The deadline is October 1st. Have a great day.